page 10 on patrol. Sort of like a march, I guess. I don't know. So I'll go through the system I use to learn a piece of music. Let's see what I end up with. I look it over, it's two pages long. The clef signs are treble and bass clef. There's no sharps or flats in the key signature. We're either in the key of C major or A minor. But look at the end. We're here. It sounds A minor to me. I'm guessing A minor. However, go ahead and just do the scales and arpeggios for both within the key signature. C major and A minor. All right. At least one octave up and down. Just no one. And four four time signature. I'll take it one hand at a time, make sure I, can, I sort of know what's going on, or I have some fingering suggestions. That's not unusual for me. You see, there's just different fingering styles. There's no one way to finger things in most cases. And different people use different styles. And depending on what level you are in learning, beginners typically use a simple five finger position most of the time, where more advanced people, intermediate, start moving around and crawling around and stuff. Right hand, we're here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and. And hopefully that rhythm is okay. If it isn't, then take out the tie and play all the notes. One and two and. Th and two and. Th Once you have an idea of that, you just hang on to the note rather than playing it again. Two and. Two and. Remember that flat in the third major is only good for that measure. So this is E now. And I think the right hand is playing here, it's staying right here the whole time. You just have a few black keys to deal with. Left hand, well here's the kicker. You have these fifths. It's an, it's an interval of a fifth. There's a one, two, three, four, five. And you move it around. So. can use one, five and one on all of them. That, that's fine. It's kind of a beginner's fingering. It's kind of fun. It's okay. Nothing wrong with it. However, if I were typically going to play this, I would not finger it that way. I don't want to move around that much. So I'm going to reach out here sort of to the octave. So E to E. It's an octave. I just reach out and sort of stay in this position. So the first one is actually going to be a two one. Then a three one. Thumb comes down. Then a 4 1, thumbs comes down. And then I can do a 5 1 or 5 2. 5 1 works fine. So, really, the thumb came down, the rest of the hand stayed where it is. Now, that's all I did. And I do it again. Come up. My hand isn't really moving, I'm just the thumb is. Measure 9. I'm still staying here. The four, and then a 2. Anyway, so what? Now, when I get to measure 15, now I do have to move from measure 17. I gotta come up here. Now, you see all these notes from measure 17 on. We got this one, this one, this one, and this one. We got these to deal with. So, can I kind of do the same thing? Can I do that? Here, and let the thumb do the others. You can get away with this even with big hands because both keys are black and they'll fit. So yes, I can do that there. So I'm just going to stay in this position for those notes. And then here. Measure 25. Again, I'm using here. This and the thumbs doing the others. Well, I can do two on the first one if I want to. Now, measure 31, we're here. Now you need to lift up and come down. You just move down. Here. And then I'm back to what I was doing at the beginning. Two, five. At the bottom, the last note has an A V under it, so you come down. 
you have a short keyboard, play the lowest A you got. But again, the fingering in the book is fine. If you want to use 5 1 on all these, you go right ahead. I'm not going to, but you can. Then I put them together, it's here. So I go through and I put the hands together, and then I go back over it slowly and carefully and work out the hesitations. Uh, you'll have to look down at the keyboard sometimes for this left hand. The right hand isn't really moving, so hopefully you don't have to look at the keyboard for the right hand. But the left hand, when you're moving around like that, until you get a feel for these distances, you're going to have to look. And I go through and I get rid of the hesitations. Steady beat through the whole thing, and then I think about the articulation. Here we are, the accents. Since you can lift up if you want. You want to lift up in the right hand between those? Okay. Left hand, you just kind of play it as best you can. Connect it as best you can. You do get a few staccatos, like a measure 19. Here, this. That's okay. Add in the staccatos. I'm flexing at the wrist, just real short. And then I think about the dynamics. Again, the dynamic given applies to the melody, and in this case, it's the right hand. MF is mezzo forte. It's moderately loud. That makes the accent a note a loud note. This, this needs to be soft. Crescendo up on the third major loud. That's loud. This is background. It's only about moderately soft, moderately loud. Moderately loud again. Measure nine, now you're sort of soft. Here, soft here. Measure 13, go up a little bit, sort of loud. You get the dynamics. Now you have to watch out on some of the crescendos and diminuendos. We have to plan them out or you get there too soon. For instance, a measure 25. You're moderately loud, but there's a crescendo there, and the loud doesn't come to the end of the line. There's not a lot of difference between them. So in this case, each measure is just going to get a hair louder. So a measure 25 is moderately loud, a little louder, a little louder, loud. Each measure was just a hair louder, and then measure 29, you start loud, now a little softer, a little softer, and then softer. Just gradually on the diminuendo, you take the whole line to get there. Plan it out. If you don't, you'll be soft by measure 30, and that's too, way too soon. Ideally, you feel, it, you feel the music, you feel the dynamics. Right now, we're kind of forcing them. But eventually, you want to get to where you're just feeling them. And then the speed. Well, about a march tempo. Or they, this, they've got the metronome marking a lot faster than a march. Because that a march is around 120. Left, left, right, left, right, left. This is left, right, left, right. This is much faster than that.
copy me, please. You play it at your speed. It's got to be accurate. Don't go faster than that. You can always speed it up later. Now measure 32. You have the fermata there. You have this here. And on that, you just hang on to that however it feels. Whatever. Just hang on to it for a little bit. If I do it with a metronome, I'll double the value and I hold it four counts instead of two because I got to stay with the metronome. But if you're just playing it, it's whatever it feels right. Let's play this together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'll give us four counts. I'm not going to do any of the louds and softs. I'll try and do the accents, although I typically forget. We're just checking notes and rhythms, which is really all this is for. One, two, ready, go. Rest. 